Boyom called So Won to come to his place. While seeing his keyring on the table, So Won wanted to pick it up. However, Boyom suddenly came, pointing a sword at So Won, similar to how So Won had done in the past to Cho Yong. It was the same sword that So Won had used in the past to save Henna and harm Cho Yong. Nevertheless, Boyom pretended he was only joking. However, So Won realized that Boyom looked serious at that moment. Even after So Won left, Boyom's face remained serious as he couldn't forgive what So Won had done in the past. Yet, Boyom's strange behavior did not stop there. He continued to tease So Won, knowing that So Won was dating Henna, but wanted to keep it a secret. So, when spending time with Henna, So Won expressed his concerns about Boyom, feeling that he had become a different person. However, Hena eased So Won's worries, explaining that Boyom was always like that. Despite So Won's initial concerns, they had a sweet date instead. While walking with So Won, Hena realized that nowadays dogs were avoiding her when they usually came to her. This was because of Boyom's bracelet that Hena was wearing. The bracelet had a strong scent of a tiger, making animals stay away from it. It was also a thoughtful present from Boyom ensuring they could have a good time without worrying about so one who was scared of dogs. Looks like there will be a school trip. During the trip, Jia realizes that the dog on Yule shirt is the one he is entangled with. Later, she was able to see Henna and so one from the past. Looks like there will be an object in that museum connected to both of them, similar to how Jia is able to see her past self because of the object related to her in the historical archive room. Due to that object, there was a chance Henna would fall ill like Jia. As her fever worsened, she decided to take a day off. So Won, in turn, was seen in Henna's room checking her temperature. So Won was able to come to Henna's house because Yuna asked her to look after Henna while she had to go out due to her schedule. So, while Henna was sleeping, So Won stayed beside her. Later, when Henna was half awake, she dragged So Won to sleep beside her. When she realized it was not a dream, she felt embarrassed. Meanwhile, as Henna and So Won's relationship deepens, Boyum finally shows his true colors. He visits Henna at her house, noticing that the door is the same as Henna's house door. Boyum initiates a conversation by mentioning Henna's curse. Although Henna pretends to be unaware of what Boyum is talking about, he reveals that it's natural for him to know about her curse because he is the one who cursed her. He is also the one who has kept their secret well hidden for more than 400 years. He proceeds to inform Henna about how to break her family curse and reveals the reason why the curse was placed on Henna's family over 400 years ago. Boyom will also offer Henna a way to break her family curse, which will save her entire family from it. However, it comes with conditions that are difficult for Henna to accept. Especially it is related to her family and so on. Boyom harbors a desire for Henna and so on to suffer, reminiscent of his past experiences. Don't miss the next episode as the storyline unfolds with the tension between the characters and the difficult choices that lie ahead for Henna to choose. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.